Well, this afternoon, Kern County veterans heading to D.C. as part of the 47th Kern County Honor Flight. Eyewitness News reporter Tony Salazar was live at Meadowsfield Airport, caught up with the only group of vietnam era women veterans on the flight to learn more about this trip of a lifetime. Yeah, that's right. I'm yet to be here at Meadowsfield Airport, and let me just say the honor fly of Kern County flight number 47 takes off at 9 this morning, and with it, there's about 104 veterans on this flight, and four of the only women attending flight number 47 are right behind me. So what are you ladies most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to being able to see all the different memorials, but particularly the women's memorial in Washington, D.C. And, and Sue, what about yourself? Well, I'm enjoying the company of all the vets. It's just, it's like a big party. Right, it is a big party, but this is a, lot, a trip of a lifetime for many of you ladies. And so Yolanda, what are you most looking forward to? Uh, representing the women veterans out there and to let people know that, you know what? We defended our country also, and we love our country. We love this country. And then, and then also joining you, last but certainly not least, is Miss Don here. So Don, what are you most looking forward to on this great trip? I am so looking forward to showing everybody in America that they can do whatever they want. It's all about freedom. It's, it's so it's, cool. It's all about freedom, and especially women in the military, women serving. I mean, I mean, Diane, how important is that? That is so important nowadays. Uh, you know, when I went in in 1974. That was new for women to go in. There was some stuff, but they had just opened up the, a lot of the career fields for women in the Air Force, but a lot of other areas there wasn't. So uh, it opened up so many opportunities for so many women. Right, and ladies, here at Eyewitness News, we want to thank each and every one of you for your service. We really do appreciate it. For now reporting here at Meadowsfield Airport, I'm Tony Salazar for Eyewitness News.